Hi all, in this video, let's learn about how to set up Webpack in our applications. So the basic setup and basic understanding of the terminology. So before this, I'm, I wanted to suggest this video like why to use the module bundler like Webpack. So I have explained everything on in this video. I will keep this link in the description or in the end card. Please have a look at it so that you can really understand why we need a module bundler. So after that, you can understand how to set it up. Okay. Now let's understand. So I have taken one folder in this folder. So let me let me create the dependencies like uh, let me create npm init hyphen y. So let's make this as a big bit npm init hyphen y. So this is to create the package.json file. So with all the default settings hyphen y is. So we got the package.json file. So next, what you can do is like, you can install the dependencies. Like I'm installing the dependencies of Webpack and Webpack CLI. So these two or two different dependencies we are installing as a dev dependency. So once I install them, so we'll be getting the node modules and uh, package.log.json, fine. So this is a basic setup. Now let's create the files. So the main file is like index dot. The main file is index.html file, so which will, be, which will be out of this. And the another folder, let me create the folder, src folder. We'll keep all the source related things in src. And I'm creating index.js file here. So in the index.html file, so let's write something. So here before I'm explaining about the Webpack configurations, I will explain the problem without Webpack, what all the problems we'll be facing. So after that, if I explain that how to set it up, so you'll be clearly understanding why we are setting these settings, okay? I will explain the problems as well. So for that, let's do the uh, normal thing. Like normally how we do, I will uh, show you that example. So this is an HTML I'm writing, a simple one. So here we'll use Lodash. So in the head part, I will be loading the Lodash part, okay? So for that, so I'm using a Syrian Lodash. So I'm keeping that here. So we need Lodash, Lodash dependency. So we are loading the Lodash as a script tag here. So later in the body, we will refer to the R script tag. So R index file. So it's like dot .src index dot. So this is the file. This is what the basic like uh, this is a HTML we have. We have nothing more than this. Okay, let's go back to the index.js file. In the index.js file, what we'll do is like, we'll add document.body. To the body, we'll add one div. Append children, we'll call a function. Just call the function here. We'll return an element. Okay, let's return an element here. So function component so let's create an element here so constant element and document dot create element let's just create an a div element here so inside this div element we will add some inner html so element dot inner html equal to let's add something okay here what we are adding with the help of underscore is for the Lodash underscore dot join. Okay, with the help of the lo Lodash, we are joining two strings. Okay, let's say those strings as hello, my pack. You can say this like this. Okay, now how we are joining these two strings with the help of the Lodash, and let's return back this element. So now this element would be added to the document body. So this is a simple one. So if you run this, so let me run it. So I will go back here and uh, let me use this live server. Okay, if you run it, so you got a hello webpack. So there is nothing uh, great thing we have done so far. But let me explain you a couple of problems which we have in this sort of implementation. So the first thing is like this index.js file. Okay, here you are using Lodash. Okay, but this file did not set that Lodash is its dependency. So anywhere do you see that index.js told that Lodash is its dependency? No. And second thing is, it is directly using this underscore. 
okay as if it is assuming that it is globally available this underscore is needs to be available globally in that assumption it is using globally and the third thing is like the dependencies the order if the order is mismatched okay if this file is loaded first okay before that file okay then it in the application will not work if the dependencies are missing or if the dependencies are included in the wrong order the application will not work and also if the dependencies are not used okay here the lodash was included okay and if you are not using here okay what happens you are forcefully forcing the browser to download something which you are not using you are not using lodash here and you are downloading that it means you are forcing the browser to download something which you are not using so these are the couple of problems we have with this sort of implementation okay now let's see how webpack will help us with this things see src is for the source code okay let's create one more folder called so i will create one more folder called dist so this this folder is for the distribution code okay what does it mean so this folder will consists of minimized and optimized version of our application so this will be given to the end users as a production release okay for now what we are doing is we are creating this as a manually the dist folder and the index.html file i will move this i will copy this dist folder uh, file inside this for now we are doing this like manual task creating dist and index.js but ideally those would be created automatically so in the upcoming sessions i will do the videos on this as well like how the asset management output management tree shaking all this will be happening in the webpack i will be doing that in that way you can learn this for now for the simplicity purpose i have created a dist folder dist folder means it is for the distribution code it is for the production build minimized and optimized version okay now what we'll do is here in this index.js file what we'll do we will comment this lodash and we will install lodash locally so why we are installing lodash locally means install let me install first lodash hyphen hyphen say why we are installing lodash means in order to bundle the lodash we are installing lodash locally as a dependency so now i'm installing the lodash so once this lodash was installed okay and again i will uh, remove in the dist.index.html page we are changing this changes here i will call this as a main file it should point to the main because this main file is what we will be bundling okay once all the bundle is done it will be coming in this main.js file okay that's the reason it would be pointing to the main.js file in the src it would be pointing directly to the index.js in the dist html file we are pointing to the main.js file now we are commented this file okay and in the index.js file let's go here and what we need to do is we need to import the lodash as we have installed the lodash we need to import the lodash here so in this sort of implementation now you can see there is no pollution no global pollution see this underscore is clearly meant that this is using this lodash it is not assuming this underscore is globally installed somewhere and its definition is there okay that is one thing and the second thing is right this index.js file is telling that it is depended upon the lodash so it means the dependency is right in the right order so if the dependencies are in the wrong order then it would become a problem for us so now the next part is the important now as you did like this right now with this dependency hierarchy information what webpack will do is it will create the dependency tree you told lodash is a dependency for index.js file so that is the reason this with this information webpack will create a dependency tree with this dependency tree okay it can easily generate the optimized bundle because all the imports will be in the correct order so it can make a right decision to create a optimal bundle okay that's that's the this information with this information a dependency graph would be generated with that it can do an optimized bundle thing okay now npx webpack if you do this command npx webpack it's like we are using webpack and wanted to build our application into dist so here now you can see by default it will take src 
index dot js file as a entry point this file as a entry point and dist main so here you have mentioned it as a main right so that's the reason like main is like a default will be getting the mail main dot js as a bundle like this so now what we did we have bundled our application okay to to have a better understanding to visualize that like uh, let me open that in our package.json i will open the package.json we'll add couple of scripts here so the first script is instead of doing all the time npx things so let's write the build command so build command let's write it as like a webpack so i will state that as a webpack okay if now I'll run npm run build, it will build it. It will build and it will generate the main.js file. Okay. Now, next we'll do one thing start. When you run the application, okay, instead of running it from the source, let's run the application from the dist folder. Okay. Then you can see the real difference, right? If you run the application from the dist folder, it means you have configured perfectly. Like, uh, so let's serve the application with the dist. This is a command serve list. So it means when you start npm run start, it uses this serve list and it will run the application here from this files. Okay. To do so, the serve should be installed. So let me install this serve. Okay. Hyphen hyphen serve. Serve is also like a dependency. Now this serves the files from the dist folder. Okay. Now we wrote a couple of scripts in the package.json file. So instead of remembering this webpack and these um files serve this so we have done this fine now let's build it once npm run build if you build it what happens now it is building and the webpack would be refreshed and now if you run it npm run start it will run the application serving so if you go to the localhost 3000 and if you see your application will be running there so you got hello webpack now it is serving from the dist folder so with this folder application is running so in sense you had a normal application okay and you are bundling that into a single file and you are making use of this and you are running that distribution code the optimized minimized version of the application okay this you made with the help of the webpack fine the, we have not yet configured anything so far we are just using whatever the webpack default configurations it has we are using the same things we are not configured anything but we can configure like uh, the webpack configurations can be configured like for example let me create that file so that file should be at the root level i'm creating that file web webpack.config.js so if you want to give the complex configuration so such as if you want to give uh, specific loaders specific plugins specific resolved options okay for more flexibility of webpack then you can create the webpack.config.js file so this is the file where you can write all the configurations so let me write the default configurations so this is a path so by default you will be having this dependency path dependency so this path will be there and module.exports so when you run webpack now, from now, if you run the webpack command, it will take this webpack.config.js file as default. Okay. If you not mention them also, it will be running with the default configurations. But if you want a complex configuration, like if you want to add loaders, plugins, those things, then you can create this at the root level. And this is what you need to write. Module.exports, you are exporting these things. And you need to mention what is the entry point for webpack where it needs to start bundling. So you need to start bundling from src index.js file. You need to start bundling. This is the entry point. Okay, that's good. Then now, what is the output folder? So where I need to keep the file. Once I have bundled everything, where I need to keep. So here you can mention it as main.js or bundle.js. So most of them, they would be naming this as a bundle.js. But in our case, just for a minimal understanding, I kept it as a main.js whatever the name you keep here all the application would be bundled into a single js file like this okay next we need to give the path so output path what is the output path we are giving with this path specific like a resolve path dot resolve and a directory name so to which directory it should go it should go to the dist folder like dist directory 
so it would be like a dist should be in a dist directory fine so this is what so it means what we are saying this is a directory so this is a directory dist is a folder in inside that folder min.js file it would be packing everything okay now the pack.config.js file also we have created so ideally how you need to run this means like npx okay webpack hyphen hyphen config because you have created a config right so you are passing this hyphen hyphen config and you need to pass this webpack config.js file so in general you can do this but remembering and typing every time this command would become complex so that's the reason if you just do webpack like build while you are doing just webpack you just you can run npm run build it would run as a webpack okay this command would be running when webpack runs so by default it would take the webpack config here yeah, this one so now we can just in short we can write webpack like npm run build so if you do this it would pick the configurations from webpack config okay here there are a couple of options we have we can run this webpack configuration in development mode production mode there are a couple of ways we can optimize so whatever we are seeing is a basic setup of the webpack okay we have a lot of things we can do in this webpack config.js you can add loaders you can add plugins many lot of things you can do okay for now what we have did is like webpack we will only play with the imports and exports so far okay if you want to add more es6 features okay you need to make sure you add some babel loader here babel loader should be there here so that it will compile it will transpile the code okay that we'll do in, in the next uh, videos so for now i hope you understand so if this is our application or the src folder will be having all of our js files and once you compile it it will start from this src index and it will create it will keep the minified and optimized version in the dist folder in the main.js file that's what the webpack does it will bundle this Webpack is a module bundler and for more details, I have done a dedicated video on this and the setup is the one this will before watching this you watch this and not only this video we have done a number of videos on our front end domain stuff. So please have a look at it. If you like the videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.